These days, Bailey Nunn is just like everyone else in self-quarantine. I'm so bored right now. Um, I've been painting. Um, I've ran out of Netflix shows to watch. The difference is she has 14 national championships to keep her company. When I first came to Drury, I, it was my first time ever being on a team. So I, it was just a wonderful experience. Like I didn't have any expectations. Nunn's final championship came in the 50 freestyle, a race in which she holds the D2 record. It was her first time competing in the event at Nationals. I've actually always wanted to be a 50 freestyler, but Reynolds would never let me. I wasn't in the best shape that I could, but I tried the best after I could get back into the water. In December, none noticed she wasn't feeling right, eventually requiring gallbladder surgery, a procedure that took her out of the pool for two months. I was so upset. I was like, I am in the middle of when I need to be training the most in my season. I was not in the shape whatsoever when I was at Nationals, but I, all I had to do was try my best and just hope, hope for the best outcome. None qualified to compete in six events at the 2020 National Meet, four individuals and two relays, but only raced in four, including just the preliminary races of the 100 Butterfly, 200 Free Relay, and 400 Medley Relay. I didn't realize that that was actually going to be my last race when I was uh, swimming it, but when we walked down into the hotel lobby to get into the vans to get ready to go to finals, everybody was like, nationals is canceled. Ending her career with history-making possibilities left on the table. Just thinking about the beat not being able to finish uh, is just really upsetting. You know, there's a lot of things that I think I would have been able to do, um, my whole team even. But topping obstacles is something none has gotten used to, courtesy of toughness carved by water. I've had to overcome so many battles in life and swimming has always been my place and my go-to to, you know, like always like push myself, you know, release my <laughs> energy, you know. It's brought me so many joys in life and I can't thank it enough. Reporting in Springfield, Dan Lynn Blatt, Ozarks First.